Welcome to this FAQ video about the latest features of Relux Cut for Revit. At the end of November 2021, Relux has launched the version 2022 in which the add-on has been extended with several new tools that offers further functions for effective gliding design. Through the What is new in Relux Cut for Revit tutorials and images on the start page, you learned about the new features and have had time to familiarize yourself with them and ask us questions. In this video we once again show you various new features on the new versions and answer in a second step the most frequently asked questions we have received so far. So let's get started. New feature, calculation areas. In the latest version of Relux CAD for Revit, new tools are available to create additional measurement surfaces in your scene. Before using the pick face tool, change the distance of the origin surface to the new measuring surface. Keep in mind that this distance must be based on the height of the lux meter that will be used in reality. After selecting the pick face command, any surface in the room can be selected to create a measuring surface upon it with the previously defined distance. The room with its surfaces can now be calculated by selecting it and clicking on the calculation button in the Relux menu. After the calculation is completed, clicking on the room symbol displays the calculation areas of the room and in a second step, the false colors for these surfaces can be activated. The same can be done with the customized measuring surface. The displayed false color results can be hidden, and the surfaces of the room can be deactivated. Now we will do the same in the 3D view. By selecting the custom button and the false colors command, the false color result of the round measuring surface is displayed. Create additional measuring surfaces based on existing surfaces easily and directly in your Revit project. Is it possible to remove the lines from the measuring surface? We agree, these lines do not look very nice and therefore our development team worked on a solution. In the next version of Relux Cut for Revit, uh, version 2022.1.8.0, these lines will no longer be displayed on the measuring surfaces. The new version will be available a few days after the release of this video. Can individual measuring surfaces be created? It is possible to create individual measuring surface in Revit by using a workaround. Let's take a look at it. So in Messing Site, we will create an object uh, using the command in place mass. And here we can then decide to create um, a polygon or just a rectangle or whatever form we need. For example, rectangle. I draw this rectangle in my scene. Here it's important to create a form, a solid form. And then I confirm by clicking on finish mess. If I check this 3D object in my 3D view, I can see it here. And once again, under Relux plugin, I can pick a face to create the measuring surface as I do it now. And then at the end, 
I can select the 3D body and delete it once again. And in this case, I got my self-made measuring surface for my scene. Can the distance to the walls of the evaluation areas be adjusted? Sure, this is possible. As you can see in my scene, I have a measuring surface placed in the middle of it and I have a distance of a half a meter from the wall to the measuring surface by default. If then I click to room manager, a new window will open in which all the rooms are listed. When I click on this little icon here, the settings, a little window will appear in which the work plane wall offset can be changed. For example, 0 0.2 meters. Here you go. And this is the way how you change the offset to the wall. New feature, false color scale. The new default false color scale is now the same as in Relux desktop. Is it possible to modify the false colors? Yes, it is. Select your measuring surface and in the menu above, click on edit style to open a new window in which under the menu color, the color and the values of the false color scale can be changed. Can the false colors be displayed more accurately? Well, unfortunately, not yet. But in a future version, there will be a new option under Luminaires, which by selecting it, adds more measuring points to the measuring surface, which means that such hard lines will disappear and the lines get more softer and more accurate. On the other hand, it will take a little bit longer to calculate the scene. New feature, free ceiling shapes. In complex buildings, it is possible that certain rooms have sloping or round ceilings. In order to also take these rooms into account and calculate them accurately, the latest version of Relux CAD for Revit exports all types of roof shapes correctly to Relux desktop. The selected rooms can be exported in the same way as before, but complex ceilings now appear in their full form in Relux Desktop. After the export, the 3D view in Relux Desktop shows the model with all objects, materials and the laboriously constructed roof. A look at the structure of the model shows that the export from Revit creates a mesh that makes it possible to design all kinds of spatial shapes. How must the model be built so that the export works properly? Yes, some of you may be aware that the room element of the scene needs to be changed in order to export the room according to your needs. So therefore we select the room element of our third floors and then we change to the side view. Here we can see that the room element's height uh, is too low and therefore we have to move it upwards in order so that everything is taken into account. And then under architecture, we 
go to uh, the room area tab and we'll open it. And here we can select area and volume computations and select area and volumes. We confirm by clicking on OK. And we will directly see that the room element is now cut out regarding uh, the room geometry. In this way, the whole floor will be exported correctly. New feature, LDT, IES, Rolf's import. Family files of luminaires from over a hundred different manufacturers can be comfortably found via the reluxnet command and imported into Revit. However, if you want to plan with luminaires other than those provided, this version allows you to add luminaires that are available as LDT, IES or Rolf's files directly in Revit by dragging and dropping them into the luminaire browser window. The imported luminaires will then be listed in the Luminaire browser and can from then on be used for lighting calculations. Why does the IES LDT luminaire not include a complex model? IES and LDT file contain mainly photometrical information. The only exceptions are the dimensions and the shapes of the luminaires. For example, the information if whether they are round or rectangular is also available. Revit family files, however, contain mostly um, 3D models, which then show the, the exact geometry of the luminaire. Are all Relux luminaires face-based? Indeed, luminaires coming from Relux are reference plane or face-based. So, in order to plane, place a luminaire in my scene, I need a horizontal face on which it can be placed. If we check that in the side view, we can see, okay, it's working. But what is if I want to change the height of the luminaire? So move it downwards or upwards won't work here. I need to create a new reference plane. And this can be done by selecting under architecture, the command reference plane, and by drawing a line from left to the right. Important here is also to name it in order to find it later. So I name it new and when I jump back to the floor view, I can now select a new luminaire, click on place on work plane, choose the placement plane, here my uh, reference plane I just created, new, and now I can place it in my scene. When I go back into the side view, I can see that this luminaire is now placed on this reference plane and by selecting it, I can turn it in the right position and I can see this luminaire here in the entry level view. So if I would like to change the height of the luminaire, I can do it now by changing the height of the reference plane. This is how you can change the height of your luminaires. New feature, exterior scene. Relux CAD for Revit 2022 makes it possible to realize lighting designs for exterior projects directly in Revit. 
As soon as a luminaire and a measuring surface are available in the outdoor area of the project, a calculation can be performed for this part of the scene. A message will appear informing about the calculation of the outdoor scene. The result can be displayed by selecting false colors and contains the same colors known from Relux Desktop. Also in the Room Manager the exterior scene is now listed and displayed with the inserted luminaires and calculated values. Start working on your outdoor project. Can measuring surfaces that were created in the outdoor area be exported to Relux Desktop? Yes, this is possible. So if you export your Revit project to Relux Desktop and there is a measuring surface in the exterior part of your scene, this will also be exported to Relux Desktop. Go to Export, deactivate all the rooms, export, uh, export only the exterior scene here and click on Export. I already prepared that and as you can see in Relux Desktop you get the model of the whole building but also the measuring surface of the exterior part. These were the questions that I think the answer might also be important for you if you work with Relux Cut for Revit. Remember that the add-on can be downloaded from our website and used free of charge for 30 days. Do you have more questions about the add-on and its new features? Leave a comment below so we can answer your questions too. Thanks for watching, till next time, then again with new features.